So here we have pumpkin pie. So you're gonna start with cutting off some cold butter into small cubes. And why we are doing this cold butter is because it's easier to get a really flaky texture into the crust rather than using a soft butter or normal or melted butter. So after we are done with this cubes we can set this aside in the fridge until we get our ingredients ready. So you're gonna take a food processor, add all the butter from the fridge and after that we're gonna add some flour, a pinch of salt and we're gonna just run it until it's all combined. Just run it for a few seconds until you see it's all coming together. And after that you see on one side we're gonna take it out, put it in a bowl and we're gonna knead it with our hands. To this we're gonna add half cup of flour, quarter cup of sugar, pinch of salt and do the whiskey business until all combined. Add the flour mixture gradually and combine it well. Take some more flour if needed. So after the dough is partially ready we're gonna take couple of tablespoons of cold water until you see all the dough coming together. We can either use vodka or cold water. So after diluting the water into the mixture, make sure you knead it quite carefully on the surface so it's combined all together. If you find the dough quite hard to knead, it's better to keep the dough in the fridge for a couple of minutes. So after you see the dough is coming together, we're gonna wrap it up and put it in the fridge for overnight or approximately one to two hours until ready to use. So this dough is rested for about two hours and we're gonna open it up and try to flatten it up for about at least two millimeter thick. Add some flour on top and on the bottom and try to beat it up so that spreads evenly. It's gonna be hard to roll the dough because it's quite frozen because of the butter in it. So after you see the size fits, we're gonna just roll it in the back and put it on the top. Be very careful with the crust because it's really, really thin so you don't try to break it. So after cutting up the extra edges, we're gonna fold it once back and try to make the curvy shapes out of it. So after we are done with the curvy shapes, we try to place the mold into the fridge for about an hour, so it's quite nice texture. So here we are done with the crust, we're gonna place it in the fridge so it's been about two hours in the fridge and we are ready to blind bake. So we're gonna preheat the oven for 180 degrees Celsius and we are gonna be using stone. So basically we're gonna do blind baking. So what blind baking is, it's basically baking the crust without the filling in it. And we're gonna make some holes with the fork so the dough doesn't rise on top. And after making the holes, we're gonna make take a parchment paper and roll it up and put it some something heavy so that it doesn't rise. So we're gonna using some rice and beans on top. So we're gonna bake for 180 degrees for about 25 minutes. For the filling, we're gonna take half cup of pumpkin puree, two eggs, quarter cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of flour, and some pinch of salt. 2 teaspoons cinnamon powder, 1 teaspoon ginger powder, grounded nutmeg. To this, we can add quarter cup of whipping cream, 150 ml of milk, and combine it really well until no lumps are formed. After mixing, we're gonna keep the mixture aside. We're gonna take out the crust and do some egg wash on it 
so it's more crumbly and more color to it. And I'm gonna bake it once more for about 10 to 15 minutes on the golden brown. So after that we're gonna fill the pumpkin pie with a mixture and bake it for 180 degrees for 40 minutes. So here it goes. I kind of broke the crust part of it a bit but it's totally fine since I'm making it for myself. So after it's cooled down we're gonna put the cling film and we're gonna refrigerate for about 2 hours before cutting. So here it goes, we're gonna cut one slice and see how the texture is. So as you can see it's pretty smooth and I'm gonna serve it with some whipped cream.